karibu bishop Amen. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Amen. Mungu awabariki wote. Hebu inua mikono juu na uitisha ushirika wako na Mungu. Let's lift our hands and ask for the fellowship of the Lord. We cannot go without the Lord is good to desire. To walk with him. When we say pamoja na wewe. Tunaposema pamoja na wewe. Ni vyema kumakinika maishani mwako. It is good to be keen in your life. Kila mtu anahitaji mkono wa Mungu. Everyone needs the hand of God. Kila mtu anahitaji kutembea na Bwana. Everyone needs to walk with the Lord. Tunamhitaji Bwana. We need you Lord. Yes, we need you more than ever before our God. That you may walk with us. We need you every hour. Just as we are. Filled with many requests. More than everything else we need your presence. That you may walk with us. Remember your troop dear Lord. Remember this army. Remember this congregation. May each and every member enjoy the fellowship with God. In the name of Jesus. As we share your word Father. We invite your hand to walk with us. May you reveal yourself to each one of us. Reveal yourself to the church which is the body of your son Jesus. Holy Spirit, I pray that you may instill in each and every one of us the will of the Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray and why don't you give the Lord a mighty hot clap? Help me to put your right hand on your head and say, This is my time to feed. This is my time to feed on the word of life. On the word of life from God. From God. I will never I will never be the same again. Be the same again. My life will rise. My life will rise to its real meaning. To its real meaning. And to the purpose of God. And to the purpose of God for which I was born. For which I was born. So help me O oh God. So help me O oh God. God bless you. May have your seat as we appreciate the Lord. Mungu yes, yes, yes. Let's appreciate the praise team. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Amen. God bless you so much. Amen. Matthew chapter number 16. Let's go there. Matthew Ma chapter number 16. Matthew 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 chapter number we are looking at these words of Jesus Christ and he said, And I also say to you that you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Verse 19. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever you bide on earth will be bowed in heaven. And whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Amen. Amen. Our topic today, we are talking about wings of a moving church. Uh, wings, wings of a moving church. Amen. Amen. In the year of moving forward, one of the burdens that I have is to do something we call rebranding. Rebranding of the church. Rebranding. 
makanisa. Rebranding is change of systems. Kubadilisha ma, mambo ya kanisa. Making them better. Kuyafanya yawe bora. Adding excellence Kuo, in whatever we do. Kuongeza mambo mazuri kwa chochote tunachofanya. So, when you talk of wings of a moving church. Kwa hivyo tunapoongea kuhusu mabawa ya kanisa linalosonga. There must be something allowing us to flow riding on them. Lazima kuwe kuna kitu ambayo inatukubalia kuenenda ili kiendea juu yake. And when we are talking of rebranding, na tunaponena kuhusu kubadilisha, I want us to concentrate more on uh, what 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 are we here for what do we do what are we doing in church Ningependa tuangalie sana hapa tunafanya nini tunafanya nini kwa kanisa You know when I got this idea and I also have been following a few things here and there and then I thought I know some people were shocked to see me here uh, starting the service with you at 10 Nilipopata hili wazo na nikawa nabadilisha mambo mengine hapa na pale najua kuna wale ambao walishtuka kuona nikianza ibada nanyi hapa saa 4. Let me first of all help those who got a shock. Hebu niwasaidie wale ambao walipatwa na mshtuko. To fight me inside the house. Kunipata kwa nyumba. Tell your neighbor it is rebranding. Ambia jirani yako ni kubadilisha, ni kugeuza mambo. Rebranding. Ni kugeuza mambo. Amen. Amen. I was not coming as a prefect or a judge. Sikuwa naingia kama katibu wa kanisa. But you know the eye has no curtain. Lakini unajua jicho halina pazia. So I saw it. Kwa hivyo niliona. I saw that some people sometimes come late. Niliona ya kwamba watu wengine masaa mengine wanachelewa. But I'm not there. Lakini siko hapo. Because I know by the time i'll be finishing this series kwa sababu najua wakati nitakuwa namaliza mafundisho haya you will be calling yourself utakuwa ukijiita and it will be possible na itawezekana do you know what i did unajua nilifanya nini for me to be seated in the studio at 8 am na ili mimi niwe nimeketi kwa studio saa 2 asubuhi i wake up very early ni huwa naamka mapema and then after studio na nikimaliza studio i prepare for you ninaanza kujitarisha shakidogo kwa sababu yenu to finish what the lord was speaking to me about the church and the service kumalizia kile bwana alikuwa ananenenea kuhusu kanisa na ibada so for me to be here at 10 na ili niweze kuwa hapa saa 4 it means i woke up an hour earlier than i do ili maanisha kwamba niliamka ni saa moja mbele ya ile masaa wanaamka so that tells you by 3 am i cannot be in bed kwa hivyo hiyo ni kuambia kwamba saa tisa asubuhi siwezi kujipata kwa kitanda so if i had one extra hour na kwa hivyo kama nilikuwa na saa moja mbele that is what i have come to ask you to give me hivyo ndio nimekuja kuwauliza munipe every member every leader in this church kila mshirika na kila kiongozi kwa hili kanisa not to i'm asking for one extra hour ninauliza lisa moja tu from what you have been doing kwa kwa ile ambayo umekuwa ukifanya if you have been waking up at 8 kama umekuwa ukiamka saa 2 i need you to wake up at 7 ninataka tu uamke saa moja tell your neighbor one hour ambia jirani yako lisa moja jesus asked his disciples yesu akauliza wanafunzi wake you mean you can't keep with me for one hour mnataka kuniambia kwamba mwezi kana milisali moja you may tell me bishop eh hey, me i don't get late me are even you i need an extra one utaniambia kwamba askofu mimi huwa sichelewi naingia mapema lakini hata kwako nahitaji lisali moja mbele do you know what makes me confirm some things unajua ni nini nafanya nipige muhuri mambo mengine even my wife was shocked hata bibi yangu alishtuka for the first time uh, mara ya kwanza since i started the radio program tangu nianze ma, ma, mafunzo ya, ya radio today i looked at the facebook leo niliangalia kwa facebook and i saw my spiritual father bishop makariuki was following today not any other time Nan, today na nikaona ya kwamba uh, baba yangu wa kiroho mark dr makariuki pia alikuwa ananifuata leo Those are my signals uh, when I when I'm asking God for something and I see such 
a confirmation i say then hakuna mtu ataniweza tunasonga hizo ni ishara wakati nimemuuliza mungu kitu kisha ninaona ishara kama hizo ninajua ya kwamba hakuna atakaye nipinga tunasonga is anybody hearing me kuna yeye anayenielewa i need you for one extra hour ninakuhitaji kwa lisaa moja what does that mean hivyo ni kumaanisha nini looking at our program now tukiangalia ratiba yetu sasa we have so much to do tuko na mambo mengi ya kufanya pastor jeff is not about two months i'm talking about our training will be closing at the end of may as we close our next chain of prayer and fasting mchugaji sio miezi miwili tu lakini nataka kusema ya kwamba mafundisho yetu yataisha mwezi wa tano takapokuwa tunafunga maombi yetu ya kufunga and so what we want to do ni kwa hivyo kinyi tunataka kufanya is to ensure we give enough time ni kuhakikisha kwamba tunapeana muda unaostahili if our service should go to the extreme kama ibada yetu itasonga the latest is 1 pm ifike hadi saa saba ikiwa imechelewa so that by 1:15 na ili by uh, ikifika saa saba na dakika 15 the training of leaders and church workers mafunzo ya viongozi na wafanyakazi kanisani will kick off inaanza 45 minutes one hour you are done dakika 45 amali saa moja tunamaliza so that by quarter past 2 na ili kifika saa 8 na robo the praise team will be doing their practice nacho kikundi cha uimbaji kinaanza practice zao so any other arrangement will be announced to the groups as we continue kwa hivyo mipangilio ingine itatangazwa kwa vikundi tunapoendelea so this is Can you tell your neighbor rebranding? Ambia jirani yako kwa kukupa kuipa sura mpya. It's like refreshing it. Ni kama kuhuisha tena. I would wish that if you are not left in any group. Ninangependa kusema kama hutabaki kwa kikundi chochote. Nobody in your family should complain that you are overstaying in this compound if you are needed. Kusiwe na mtu kwa familia yako ambaye atateta ya kwamba unakaa kwa kanisa sana kama unahitajika. This one I have not even discussed with the pastors. Hii hata sijaongea na wachungaji. From today you have been struggling to be here by 8:30. Kutoka kuanzia leo mmekuwa mkingangana kwa hapa saa mbili na nusu. Leaders and church workers. Viongozi na wafanyikazi kanisani. And the youth. Na vijana. Bishop is not talking about 8:30. Askofu aongelelei saa mbili na nusu. Bishop is talking of 8:00 a.m. Askofu anaongelelea saa mbili kamili. 8:00 a.m. Saa mbili kamili. How many believe it is possible? amini kwamba inawezekana you only need to sleep earlier unahitaji tu kulala mapema jumamosi if the, the demon that be, hides behind sleeping is tying you you only need to sleep an hour earlier ya kama pepo ambayo inajificha hapo nyuma ya usingizi na kufunga unahitaji tu kulala ni saa moja mbele so that you wake up early na ili ukaweze kuamka mapema wake kalam Aha put on the alarm and don't behave like Mr Bean when it calls you Na usifanye kama Mr Bean wakati alarm inalia Obey the alarm Ati hiyo alarm so that you come to church Na ili ukaweze kuja kanisani Hallelujah Hallelujah There is no worker in any factory Hakuna mfanyikazi kwa kampuni yoyote who will ever be effective if he gets to the factory after 8 years Ambaye atakuwa atafanya kazi vizuri akiingia kwa kampuni baada ya saa 2 what i'm looking for unajua natafuta nini if you are here starting at 8 pray kama uko hapa saa 2 umeanza kwa maombi and i have started my program of the radio at 8 am nami nimeanza mafundisho kwa radio saa 2 then i'm sure that behind me i have intercessors kwa hivyo nina uhakika ya kwamba nyuma yangu kuna waombezi nikiendelea na mafundisho I know today is not the days you say amen Najua but it's okay. Leo si siku tunasema amina lakini ni sawa. But it's a good thing because you are here. Lakini ni sawa mzuri kwa sababu Can I hear an amen? Hebu tuseme amen. Now looking at the scripture let's move on now. Wings of a moving church looking at the scriptures I wanted to see something verse number 18. Nipenda tuone kitu mabawa ya kanisa linalosonga mstari wa 18. When Peter was able to understand who Jesus was. Wakati Petro aliweza kuelewa Yesu alikuwa ni nani? 
Jesus looked at that and told him Yesu akaangalia na akawaambia It has not been revealed to you by men Haijafunuliwa kwenu na wanadamu It's not by flesh or blood Sio kwa damu na nyama but my father who is in heaven Lakini baba yangu aliye mbinguni And I also said to you Na pia nawaambia I said to you Peter nakwambia we Petro that you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church Ya kwamba wewe ndiye Petro na juu ya mwamba huu nitalijenga kanisa langu Jesus never said and upon you Peter he said upon this rock Na Yesu hakusema kwako wewe Petro alisema juu ya huu mwamba Because that rock Kwa sababu huo mwamba is the rock that went together with the children of Israel. Ni mwamba ambao ulitembea pamoja na wana wa Israeli. It is the rock that gave water. Ni mwamba uliowapa maji. It is the rock Jesus Christ. Huo ni mwamba Yesu Kristo. And he can only be Christ when he or he can only be the rock when you get to understand him on the concept of not only Jesus but Christ na naweza kuwa ni mwamba ukiweza kumuelewa ya kwamba sio Yesu tu lakini Kristo I keep telling people the reason why it is Jesus who died on the cross and not Christ is because Jesus was a common name the nature of a man na zidi kuambia watu ya kwamba ni Yesu aliyekufa msalabani na sio Kristo kwa sababu Yesu aliuchukua huu mwili wa mwanadamu Christ the anointed one of God cannot die Kristo aliyepako mafuta na Mungu hawezi kufa He is a rock yeye ni the rock of ages. Yeye ni mwamba imara. So upon the rock. Kwa hivyo juu ya huo mwamba. Jesus says I will build my church. Yesu anasema ya kwamba nitalipanda kanisa langu. And the gates of hell. Wala milango ya kuzimu shall not prevail against it. Haitalishinda. Now where am I bringing the issue of moving church a moving church Kwa nini naleta hii mambo ya kanisa linalosonga If you look at the gates Ukiangalia milango Even looking at this door Hata ukiangalia huu mlango This door does not move Huu mlango usongi But you are the one who can move through the door Lakini wewe ni unasonga kupitia ule mlango If the door tried to block you Mlango ukijaribu kukuzuia It will be frustrated Ita 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 to be ashamed ita, ita because you will go through kwa sababu bado utapita so when the lord says that the church are building the gates of hell shall not prevail against it kwa hivyo mungu anaposema kwamba kanisa linalojenga milango ya kuzimu haitaizuia it means then ni kumaanisha the church is moving kwa kwamba kanisa linasonga the gates are static milango imesimama now we need to ask ourselves nahitaji kujiuliza how will the church move nalo kanisa litasonga aje how will it move litasonga aje that's why i'm trying to show you this na niposa najaribu kuonyesha hivi i'll be dealing with the some some wings nimekuwa nikingangana i'll be dealing with nitakuwa nikingangana na mabao I'll be teaching on some wings that will help the church to move and they are still with us those wings are with us but in rebranding we want to work on them smarter so Jesus has introduced the foundation of the church let's see in Acts chapter 1 verse 1 and to what will Jesus do here Matendo ya mitume moja moja hadi mbili Yesu atafanya nini What are we seeing with brother Luke Tunaona nini na Luke The former account I made O Theophilus of all that Jesus began both to do and teach Uh-huh Until the day in which he was taken up after he he through the holy spirit had given commandments to the apostles whom he had chosen amen amen now i want you to look at us that the man look the writer of the book of acts 
Ningependa uangalie kwamba huyu mtu Luka mwandishi wa kitabu cha matendo ya mitume. He is saying that what the Lord himself started and, to do and to speak. Anasema kile Bwana Yesu alianza kufanya na kufundisha. And he gave instructions. Na akapeana mashauri. Those are the instructions of the formation and the continuity of the church. Haya ni mambo ya vile kanisa litakavyoumbwa na litakavyoendelea. Now looking at that very keenly. Tukiangalia hiyo kwa makini, it shows that we have a responsibility. Inaonyeshana ya kwamba tuna jukumu. We cannot do it in a different pattern. Hatuwezi fanya kwa tofauti. And that's why you find the growth of a church. Na hapo ndio ambapo unapata kukua kwa kanisa the movement of a church kusonga kwa kanisa it has a pattern iko na na ratiba and even the body things of going against the pattern na kila ambaye atafikiria kuenenda kinyume you will find is not working atajipata kwamba haifanyi kazi hallelujah hallelujah the instructions have been given mambo yameandikwa yamepeanwa let me show you something else before i touch on the first one kuonyesha jambo lingine kabla nitaje kuonyesha wewe Ephesians Ephesians chapter Ah uh, verse 11. Uh-huh. And he himself who is that? Himself. Can you see himself in capital H? Huyo ni nani? Hebu tunaiona ikiwa imeandikwa kwa herufi kubwa. The same Lord. Ni yule tu Bwana. After speaking to Peter that he is going to build a church Alipo mnenea Petro ya kwamba ataenda kujenga kanisa that will knock out or will defeat all the gates of hell. Ambalo litashinda milango ya kuzimu. Then he left after giving instruction. Kisha akaenda badala ya baada ya kupeana maagizo. Now here he is. Na hapa anasema. Apostle Paul says. Mtume um, Paulo anasema. And he himself gave some to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists and some pastors and teachers that is Christ himself who gave those gifts mwenyewe aliyepeana hizo karama verse 12 12 for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry for the defying of the body of Christ now look at that hebu tuangalie hiyo everybody who comes to Jesus Christ kila mtu ambaye anakuja kwake Yesu Christo and you are washed by the blood of Jesus na umeoshwa na damu ya Yesu and your name is written in the book of life jina lako limeandikwa kwa kitabu cha uzima and you start working in the ways and the guidance of the holy spirit unaanza kutembea kwa mienendo na kuongozwa kwa roho mtakatifu you qualify to own the title of a saint unapata kuwa kuitwa mkristo There are people who think uh, that a saint is one who served God and died. Kuna watu wanafikiria kwamba mtume ni yule alitumikia Mungu na akafa. Today, kwa siku ya leo, when you talk of the saints, wakati tunaongea kuhusu mitume, you talk of another term called brethren. Una tunalipata lingine linaloitwa wapendwa. Those are brothers and sisters. Hao ni ndugu na dada. When we are doing the, the letter of Hebrews, wakati tunafanya maandiko ya katika Hebrania, you have seen that Jesus is not ashamed to be called our brother. Unaona Yesu haibiki kuitwa ndugu yetu. That's why you qualify that title of a saint. Na hapo ndipo unapata kuitwa mtume. A separated one. Mmoja ambaye ametengwa. One who is you know consecrated. Mmoja ambaye ame 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 amewekwa wakfu. In other words you are a believer. Na wewe ni muaminio. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. Now the reason why Christ gave gifts sababu ambayo ilifanya Kristo akapeana karama is that he we may equip the saint for the work of ministry na ile tukaweze kuwapa wa, watakatifu ama kwa kukamilisha watakatifu for the edifying of the body of Christ na hata mwili wa Kristo uweze kujengwa in other words kwa maneno mengine that the church of Jesus Christ na ile kanisa la Yesu Kristo may be happy iweze kufurahia may be strengthened iwe na nguvu may be equipped iwe ijengwe may move forward iweze kusonga mbele Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Can you tell your neighbor I am in that team? Ambia jirani yako mimi ni wa hicho kikundi. I am in that team. Mimi ni wa hicho kikundi. And may I say here in Jenerim. Na nisema ya kwamba hapa we are opening this space. Tunafungua hii nafasi. As we train you. Tunapokupea mafundisho. Because you need to do the work of the ministry. Kwa sababu unahitaji kufanya kazi za huduma. Now let me ask you up to that time up to that part Is there anywhere you are being prepared to go and stay in heaven Kuna mahali unatayarishwa kwenda kuishi mbinguni Hello Hello You know I go to church for them to help me go to heaven Unajua naenda kanisani ili wanisaidie kwenda mbinguni Heaven is not a destiny Heaven is a reward He binguni sio mahali trap binguni sio mwelekea binguni ni, ni zawadi where you will receive your rest mahali ambapo utapokea pumzisho after doing the work of ministry baada ya kufanya kazi ya huduma If I were you Kama ningealikuwa wewe Even if I'm not given work in church Hata kama sijapewa kazi kanisani Even if I'm not called a leader Hata kama sijaitwa kiongozi I would hide myself and be in the training Ningejificha na niingie kwa hiyo mafunzo Everybody can fit in the training Kila mtu anaweza ingia kwa hiyo mafundisho Why because of the equipping Kwa sababu ya kujenga of the saints for the work of ministry Ya watakatifu kwa kazi ya huduma So for me this this time kwa hivyo kwangu wakati huu i'll be showing you about this wings nitakuwa nikiwaonyesha kuhusu haya mabawa and you'll be flowing together natakuwa tukienenda pamoja as the training is continuing vile mafundisho yanavyoendelea now look at verse 13 let's let's see it there let's see it mstari wa 13 till we all come to the unity of the faith hata na sisi wote tutakapofikia umoja wa imani and of the knowledge of the son of god na kumfahamu sana mwana wa Mungu to a perfect man hata kuwa mtu mkamilifu to the measure of the stature of the fullness of christ hata kufika kwenye cheo cha kimo cha utimilifu wa kristo when we are equipped to do ministry wakati tumejengwa kufanya huduma oh hallelujah hallelujah we now get to the unity of faith sasa tunapata umoja jawa imani that you can hold your brother and your sister naweza mshika ndugu na dada in the body of Christ katika mwili wa Kristo and we are talking of the same faith na tunanena kuhusu imani imani moja and we have the knowledge of the son of god na tuna kujua mwana wa Mungu we are quinting with the perfect man tunaenenda na mtu aliyekamilika and we get to the measure of the stature of the fullness na kufika kwenye cheo cha kimo cha utimilifu wa because it has been said by John we do not know how things shall be but one thing he knows John says one thing i know when he shall be revealed we shall be like him because every day we are moving we are growing you are increasing look at verse 14 Hebu tuangalie mstari wa 14 that we should no longer be children. Ili tusiwe hey. tena watoto wachanga. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. You know what that means? Unajua hivyo ni kumaanisha nini? When the Bible says that we should no longer be children. Wakati Biblia inasema tusiwe tena watoto wachanga. It has a lot of meaning. Ina maana mingi. That if the Torah I fight you misbehaving. Na kama nikifanya ukitenda mambo yasiyo sahili. I have the right to tell you. Ninaweza kuambia. Can you focus on the training? Hebu angalia mafundisho. Can you focus on the word of God? Hebu angalia neno la Mungu. You know it is only in church. Unajua ni kanisa tu. If you tell a Christian, kiambia mkristo, wacha utoto. Aha, wa, aha. Tigawana. Tigawana. That is the place in church you fight you may miss that person forever. Hapo ni kanisani ndio unaweza pata ukiambia mtu hivyo unaweza mkosa milele. Ajiri huo. Ati akaniambia hivyo. But you see Apostle Paul is very keen. Lakini mtume Pauli ana umakini hapa. We should no longer be children. Tusiwe tena watoto wachanga. Toast 
to and fro tukitupwa huku na huku carried about with every weed of doctrine na kuchukuliwa na kila upepo wa elimu by the trickery of men in the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting kwa hila ya watu kwa ujanja tukizifuata njia za udanganyifu hello hello so before somebody comes to show me like niko na utoto kwa hivyo kabla mtu akuja kunionyesha niko na utoto i will run very fast to maturity nitakuwa nimekimbia sana ili kaweze kukua i will go for training nitaenda kwa mafunzo i will listen to the word nitalisikia neno i will learn to pray nitajifunza kuomba i believe the holy spirit to guide me nitamwamini roho mtakatifu kuniongoza hello hello before somebody comes to tell me you know nowadays we have known a new route another way of faith and they start introducing you to Jehovah's witness and other things come on run to maturity kabla mtu hajakuja kuambia ninajua vingine anza kupeleka kwa Jehovah witness na wewe kimbia tu kukua i had friends who went away and uh, somewhere we used to serve together in a ministry but one time it was like they have known another good message and Nilikuwa i was nilikuwa na marafiki ambao tulikuwa tuna hudumu pamoja na ikafika wakati wakazi wakaona ni kama kwamba wamejua zaidi and i know one who is already in the grave na ninajua mmoja ambaye yuko kaburini but that is lack of maturity in our faith lakini hiyo ni kutokuwa na kujua katika imani yetu we must we must move forward lazima tusonge mbele look at verse 15 let me also mstari wa 15 but speaking the truth in love may grow up in all things into him who is the head christ lakini tuishike kweli katika upendo na kukua hata tumfikie yeye katika yote yeye aliye kichwa Kristo verse 16 16 Now look at this from whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies according to the effective working by which every part does its share causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love hey katika yeye mwili wote ukiungamanishwa na kushikanishwa kwa msaada wa kila kiungo kwa kadri ya utendaji wa kila sehemu moja moja hukuza mwili upate kujijenga wenyewe katika upendo now that is now talking about the results after we all grow to maturity of faith hiyo inaleta uh, baada zote tumekuwa katika imani we become neat one with another tunaungamanishwa moja na mwingine because we are part of the body kwa sababu sisi zote ni sehemu ya mwili and there is surprise we have joint we have it's like the body is moving like now what i'm doing here if you look at my body i'm coordinating kama vile ninavyofanya hapo ukiangalia mwili wangu sehemu zote zinafanya kazi my eyes are looking at you macho yangu yanakutazama even those who are dozing i'm seeing you hata wale wanaolala ninawaona those who are feeling a lot of peace in the church because maybe home there was no peace so please can I, can you can you stop sleeping wale ambao wanasikia amani nyingi kwa sababu pengine nyumbani hakuko amani tafadhali tuache kulala i know it's hot Na, but we thank god the grace of god is sufficient najua kuna joto lakini ndamshukuru Mungu neema yake yatotosha at the same time my hands are doing some gestures wakati huo pia mikono yangu yafanya kazi if you look at my legs they are moving ukitazama miguu yangu inasonga even insides organs are rotating they are moving hata sehemu za ndani pia zinafanya kazi inasonga that is what it means they are joint their blood vessels the body is active kuna viungo kuna mishipa ya damu mwili wote unafanya kazi so 
as we look at the body the church kwa hivyo tukitazama kanisa Jesus new life ministry Jesus new life ministries we don't want any organ that is not operating hatufutaki sehemu ambayo ifanyi kazi we need all the body parts to be moving tunahitaji sehemu zote za mwili zisonge hallelujah hallelujah that even as we continue na ili hata tunapoendelea we are connected with the head Jesus Christ na kichwa aliye Kristo the head of the body ga kichwa cha mwili so that all of us na ili sisi wote we can move on tukaweze kusonga hallelujah hallelujah so when we talk of a moving church kwa hivyo tukinena kuhusu kanisa linalosonga it is a healthy and a growing local church ni kanisa lililo na afya na ambalo linakuwa here we are all of us hapa tulipo sisi wote in a local church called Roiro headquarters of Jerusalem katika kanisa hili ambalo linaitwa kanisa la Roiro headquarters every one of us na kila mmoja wetu should be growing healthy anastahili kukua akiwa na afya as far as church matters are concerned kwa mambo ya kanisa ikihusika so number one we You want to know the wings? We uh, la kwanza. I know some who started writing have been saying what is it telling us we are waiting for number one. Najua umeshinda uh, ukingojea nambari ya kwanza ndio uandike. In every church katika kila kanisa there is the wing of leadership. Kuna ile bawa la uongozi. What I will do today kile nitakavyotofanya leo I will mention them very fast. Nitayataja haraka haraka so that you also go and pray for yourself wherever you feel there is an area you need to learn more na ili hata wewe pia uweze ujiombe mahali ambapo unasikia kwamba kuna mahali unataka kujua zaidi so that the next time i'm coming on stage na ili wakati mwingine nitakapokuja hapa in a Sunday service na ikiwa ibada ya jumapili i will be touching one button after the other nitakuwa nikiguza moja kwa lingine Are we together? Tuko pamoja. So I want you to announce to yourself. Kwa hivyo ningependa ujitangazie that from now up to the end of May. Ya kwamba kuanzia sasa hadi mwisho wa mwezi wa tano. This gonna be a crowd of training. Hii itakuwa ni uwanja wa mafundisho. And any time I'll be sharing anything to pray with the people. Na kila wakati nakuwa nikigawa kitu cha kuomba na watu. I want you to be ready. Ningetaka ukue tayari. Because some of the blessings and the miracles we are looking for they will be walking and growing and moving with us hallelujah hallelujah because when they did what they were supposed to do in the early church things were happening people were finding their healing people were receiving their deliverance they only Waliweza tukuti. They prayed. Wakaomba. They read the scriptures the scrolls. They had to break bread. Ilibidi waugawe mkate. They fasted. Wakafunga. So these things are important. Kwa hivyo haya mambo ni ya muhimu. So wing one is the wing of leadership. Bawa la kwanza ni bawa la uongozi. What do we expect in this one? Tunatarajia nini kwa hii? Let me just touch a few points and I go to the other one. Hebu niguze kidogo kisha niingie la pili It is good to know that in every church Ni vizuri kujua kwamba katika kila kanisa The responsibility of the leaders A kazi ama jukumu la viongozi Apart from equipping Isipokuwa tu kujenga They also guide Pia wanastahili kuongoza They also correct Wanastahili kusahihisha and they also take care Na pia wanalinda The role of shepherd Uh, kazi ya mchungaji that is a, the leadership work oh hiyo ni kazi ya uongozi it is good to know nurturing is important ni vizuri kujua kwamba kulea ni muhimu equipping uh, ku, guiding kujenga kuongoza correcting kusahihisha and taking care na pia kulinda actually in leadership we demonstrate Christ leadership. Kwa hivyo katika uongozi tunaonyesha vile Kristo anavyoongoza. Let me touch a few things about our leaders here. Guguza mambo kadhaa kuhusu viongozi wetu hapa. And especially from now up to May. Haswa kuanzia sasa hadi mwezi wa 5. Your main responsibility. Kazi ya jukumu lako 
is to train nikufunza to equip nikujenga that curriculum that 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 syllabus ah uh, hayo mafundisho everybody going through it kila mtu ambaye atapitia let it be that smart hebu tuwe was uh, to find to